Just in time for Halloween, new tonight, people across the area reporting sightings of eight-legged visitors. I can't even watch this story. <laughs> Tarantulas are out and about, and while they may look scary because they are, it turns out there's probably no need to fret. Yeah, nothing to be scared of here. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams breaks down what you need to know if you run up on one of these things. This time of year in the Ozarks, tarantulas start wandering, looking for a special part in its life cycle. What we're seeing this time of year are male tarantulas reaching maturity. Uh, most of them are going to be between 12 and 14 years old when they reach maturity. And once they do that, they just start wandering looking for dates. And they're just out trying to find female tarantulas this time of year. And a lot of them will wander around looking for them until they die. Austin Jones, an entomologist at the University of Arkansas, says the spiders like to live in dry habitats with open ground, such as a forest or a meadow. They try to avoid areas that are going to have a lot of leaves, a lot of organic matter in the soil. They're looking for well-drained, like sandier soils. And sometimes they can find those things like underneath porches and places like that in the home because there's a lot of dry soil. It doesn't get rained on much there. According to Jones, male tarantulas are typically a lot bigger than females. So here we have an adult female. It's overall more brown than the males we see wandering. Their body is going to be more golden with black legs. Jones says spiders grow faster and reach maturity during warmer months. So as we move through fall, you should see fewer tarantulas. I would expect that once we start getting kind of consecutive nights in frosting and freezing that you'll start to see them disappear. They won't be moving much more. In the meantime, what if you spot one? Jones believes the spiders do not pose as a threat to humans, especially since they're mostly blind and easy to catch. You can get a container and put it over the top of the tarantula and then you can find like cardboard or something flat and stiff and then just slide that under the bowl or the glass or whatever you put over the tarantula and then that way you've got it in a container now you could flip that over uh, and it's been captured and you haven't had to handle it at all. All spiders are venomous. So the tarantulas are venomous. But bites are rare, he says, most commonly happening when the spiders feel threatened. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.